Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video will describe the crystal induced arthritis. Uh, the following are the references for this video. By the end of this video, you would be able to answer this clinical uh, problem in which a 45 years old obese uh, man present to the emergency department with the swollen tender big toe on his uh, right foot. He denies any trauma to the toe. Further questioning revealed that he had consumed a large amount of alcohol the night before. The crystal induced arthritis is a term which is a group of disease and it is characterized by the uh, deposition of crystals within the uh, within the joint and these crystals are responsible for the destruction of the cartilage by inflammation. Uh, the crystals can be endogenous or exogenous. The endogenous crystals are monosodium urate crystal which results in gout then calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate crystal deposition that is termed as pseudo gout and basic calcium phosphate deposition uh, the exogenous material uh, uh, are also responsible for the deposition of the crystals within the joint and these exogenous materials can be corticoestroid easter crystals uh, talcum powder or uh, biomaterial silicon polyethylene and methyl methacrylate and calcium oxalate the term gout earlier named as potagra and then named as gout in, it, in 1280 uh, this term is derived from the gutta which means a drop this term was uh, based on humorism theory which was defined by ancient Greeks and then this term was further refined by Hippocrates and Galen. Uh, the humorous, uh, humorism theory states that uh, the body is regulated in eucrasia state by four fluids and these fluids are blood, phlegm, yellow bile and black bile. Any irregularity in these fluids will result in dyscrasia or disease. The term gout was first uh, coined by the Rodolphus of uh, Bocking in 1200 AD who proposed that it is due to dropping of a morbid material from the blood into and around the joint. The disease definition currently is a disease characterized by hyperuricemia and deposition of monosodium urate crystals in the body. The gouty arthritis however is the transient attack of acute arthritis which is initiated by deposition of monosodium urate crystals within and around the joint. Then there is another term we will study in this disease that is tophi and these are large aggregates of urate crystals and the surrounding inflammatory reaction. It is termed as tophi. Uh, when we classify this disease, this classification of the disease can be into two categories. One is the primary gout and another is secondary gout and it is based on the two pathogenetic mechanism as we know the uh, the uric acid metabolism is is uh, if it is disturbed it is going to produce the gout but two, two important steps in the uh, this uh, metabolism one is the production of the uric acid another is the excretion of the uric acid so uh, in primary one in which there is no underlying etiology or a known enzyme effect uh, if there is increased production uh, sorry, there is increased production or normal production, but the excretion is decreased or normal, and it is due to unknown enzyme defect, and it is present in 85 to 90 percent of the cases of gout. Uh, it is primary one. Then known HGPRT deficiency uh, will be due to increase uric acid production and excretion is normal then secondary gout, uh, gout which is responsible for only 10 percent of the cases is uh, will result in certain 
conditions such as increased uh, nucleic acid turnover such as in leukemia in which there is increased uric acid production and excretion is also increased in chronic renal disease the production is normal but the excretion is decreased and in congenital such as leach nehal syndrome and hjprt deficiency the production is more and excretion is also more uh, then this uh, hyperuricemia is uh, linked with the gout not all the cases of hyperuricemia are going to produce this gout uh, if the serum uric acid concentration is less than 7 mg per deciliter, only about 0.1% uh, of the cases will produce gout. When uh, if the serum uric acid concentration is 7 to 8.9, uh, it rises to 5 times. And when it rises, uh, if the serum uric acid concentration goes more than 9 mg per deciliter the annual incidence of the gout rises to 10 times this is the classical image described by gallen uh, and uh, it is showing red faced good living heart breaking country square uh, affected by gout the Gallen statement was corroborated by uh, Benjamin Franklin who stated uh, be temperate in wine in eating girl and sloth or the gout will seize you and plague you. The other famous victim of this disease were King Henry, Sir Isaac Newton, Samuel Johnson and uh, the Benjamin Franklin also published uh, a dialogue between himself and the gout in 1780. Uh, the serum uric acid concentration above 6.8 mg per deciliter is uh, termed as hyperuricemia and uh, it is one of the contributing factors for the development of gout. Uh, but it is not the only factor for the development of the gout. Many other factors are also, also responsible as this hyperuricemia uh, is responsible for gout in only 10% of the cases. Uh, so there should be some contributing factors also. Uh, this hyperuricemia is the result of overproduction of the uric acid or reduced excretion of the uric acid. Uh, there is another uh, condition that is asymptomatic hyperuricemia that is described in male during puberty and female after menopause. Uh, the uric acid is the end product of the purine metabolism. These purines are formed through two mechanisms. One is de novo pathway and another is salvage pathway. In the de novo pathway, the purine nucleotides are synthesized from non-purine precursors. While in salvage pathway, the nucleotides are synthesized from free purine bases in the diet or those generated by purine nucleotide catabolism. Uh, then this uric acid is filtered through glomerulus and uh, in the proximal tubule it is completely almost completely dissolved and uh, in the distal nephron uh, a little quality, uh, quantity of this uric acid is excreted. Uh, the primary gout is responsible for the, uh, the causes of the primary gout are genetic polymorphism in certain genes such as urate 1 gene, GLUT9 gene and uh, KC and Q1 gene. These genes are responsible for the transport of the uric acid in the tubules or it can be due to partial uh, partial hyposanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme deficiency. This partial HGPRT deficiency blocks the salvage pathway and uh, due to this block of the salvage pathway there is more production of the uric acid as the, the formation of the purine is, purine is decreased. So more of these uh, purine they go uh, or push towards the and product formation that is the uric acid formation then the secondary uh, gout is uh, 
uh, is the, the gout which is present with underlying etiology. One is the uh, leukemia chemotherapy. In leukemia chemotherapy, this rapid cell lysis and, and hence there is increased uric acid load. Then uh, there is reduced excretion in the chronic renal disease so it will lead to increased uric acid concentration in the serum. Uh, the complete aposanthine gonine phosphoribosyl transferase deficiency manifests more as neurological symptoms and signs hence it is termed as uh, uh, labeled as secondary gout. So we can summarize that this uh, increase in uric acid or hyperuricemia can be achieved by increased production of the uh, purines or de novo synthesis of the purines or a decreased salvage of the purine uh, or it can be due to increased cell turnover or it can be due to decreased excretion of the uric acid from by the uh, urine. Uh, for the pathogenesis of this uh, gout, uh, there is hyperuricemia. Uh, in 10% of the cases, this hyperuricemia is responsible for the development of disease. The main event is the, is the in the development of this gout is the precipitation of urate crystals in the joint. This pre precipitation of the urate crystal in the joint is regulated by local temperature and intra-articular concentration of the urate. A decrease in the temperature is associated with decreased solubility. So this decreased solubility favors uh, precipitation. The precipitation is also facilitated by the presence of a nucleating agent such as insoluble collagen fiber, chondroitin sulfate, protoglycan, cartilage fragment or any other crystals. So uh, there is Supersaturation of the cyanobyl fluid by this monosodium urate in the joint space, especially the distal joints of the feet, uh, where the temperature is less. The temperature is recorded in these areas, such as uh, the toe joint. It is about uh, uh, recorded as 20 degrees centigrade. Uh, in this scenario, where these are concentrated, these crystals are concentrated and these are present in the synovium. When there is uh, any undefined uh, uh, stimulus or when there is trauma, these are uh, released into the joint cavity by any uh, this undefined stimulus and when they in are induced into the joint cavity they initiate an inflammatory response when there is precipitation uh, so this inflammatory response is shown in this diagram where these monosodium urate crystals are first phagocyte, phagocytosed by the macrophages, local macrophages which release leukotriene, pro prostaglandin, free radicals uh, and there is simultaneous uh, activation of the complement which recruit neutrophils and um, through chemotaxis also and these cytokines can directly induce the tissue damage they can induce the damage through neutrophil or they can induce uh, the damage through release of the interleukin from the macrophage which release further chemokines and cytokines which result in cartilage uh, and cyanobyl destruction by the release of proteases. So leukotriene B4 uh, prostaglandin and free radicals they uh, act on the neutrophil and uh, as, uh, there is chemotaxis also uh, the monosodium urate crystals are phagocytosed by the uh, neutrophil and they are frequently ruptured due to uh, needle shaped crystals and there is lysis of the uh, neutrophil as a result, there is release of lysosomal enzyme which are further responsible for the tissue injury. 
also there is activation all all this happened due to actually uh, activation of the complete complement by the indirect pathway acute arthritis remain uh, uh, remits spontaneously in weeks to uh, days and if there is repeated effect of this acute arthritis there is actually formation of trophy which are aggregate of monosodium urate crystals and the inflammatory tissue which is present in inflamed synovium and periarticular tissue ultimately there is a severe cartilage dam damage and disability of the joint due to this pathogenetic mechanism the other factors which are responsible for the development of gout are age at which the uh, age which the patient is present or presented or the duration of the hyperuricemia uh, as gout occurs about decades after the hyperuricemia male gender is another predisposing factor genetic abnormalities we have discussed already alcohol cons consumption obesity and drug that re reduce uric acid excretion are also responsible for this disease so this slide is showing the risk factors for the uh, gout these are obesity metabolic syndrome ingestion of fructose high ingestion of purines alcohol and uh, diuretics the under excretors of the uric acid are responsible for 80% of the cases of the gout and uh, these include male gender postmenopausal females obesity metabolic syndrome ethanol renal insufficiency plumbism medications uh, dehydration uh, filipino ancestry fructose ingestion and neuromodulin kidney diseases while the 20% of the uh, gout cases are due to overproduction of the uric acid such as ethanol high cell turnover state excessive purine ingestion brpp overactivity hgprt underactivity beta aldolase deficiency sarcoidosis beta l deficiency down syndrome glycogen storage disease fever and post operative state there is a long list of the drugs which are associated with hyperuricemia uh, and among these are the diuretics low dose aspirin ethanol ethambutol levodopa nicotinic acid uh, sildenafil and many more the gross pattern of the gout are divided into four categories uh, one is the acute arthritis another is the chronic tophaceous arthritis then deposition of urate crystals in the extra articular sites and the uh, urate nephropathy grossly they appear as chalky white deposit on the articular surfaces but while microscopically they are shown uh, they are shown uh, they show Uh, dense neutrophilic infiltrate scattered lymphocyte plasma cell and macrophages uh, with edema and congestion there is deposition of uh, uh, urate crystals also and these urate urate crystals uh, are uh, are present within the cytoplasm of the neutrophil also the acute attack remits when the crystals are solubilized so on the left the micrograph is showing bright field histology exhibiting brownish monosodium urate crystals within the bone the high power view in the polar polarized light as seen in the right micrograph show negative birefringent crystals the chronic uh, tophaceous arthritis results when there is repetitive attacks of the precipitation of the urate crystal which lead to the encrusting of the articular surface and uh, now the uh, these crystal deposits can be uh, visible on the synovium and uh, due to these repetitive and intense inflammatory uh, reaction the synovium become hyperplastic fibrotic thickened and uh, there is marked infiltration by the inflammatory cells as a result a penis is formed and uh, this uh, penis formation result in further destruction of the articular cartilage there is erosion of the uh, bone adjacent to the joint and finally it will result in fibrous and bony ankylosis which all these effect lead to the uh, loss of the joint function 
the tophi is the pathognomonic of the uh, gout it is the an intense inflammatory reaction of foreign body joint cell which is encircling large aggregation of the urate crystal here the clear area in this uh, in this photograph is uh, uh, depicting and presence of uh, aggregate of urate crystal as these uh, urate crystals uh, wash out during normal processing normal tissue processing this illustration is summarizing the histological characteristics of uh, uh, chronic tophaceous arthritis in which there is central deposition of the urate crystals and these are surrounded by inflammatory cell and uh, there is giant cell inflammatory reaction and these these uh, all these inflammatory infiltrate are surrounded by fibroblast this slide is showing a pink amorphous lesion which is surrounded by uh, a giant cell reaction uh, the his clear spaces are uh, the basically the areas where the urate crystals were present and these urate crystals were washed out during tissue processing common site for the tophi deposition are articular cartilage ligament tendon and bursi uh, less frequent sites are soft tissue ear loop fingertips or kidney and the superficial tophi can ulcerate through the skin uh, in the upper picture you can see that there is a, a deposition of chalky white material near the articular surface and uh, the lower picture is showing the superficial ulceration of the tophus through the skin the urate nephropathy is the renal complication uh, uh, which is caused by the urate crystal or tophi in which are deposited in the renal medullary interstitium or within the tubule the common site is the apices of the medulla and the grossly these appear as sm uh, small shiny golden yellow linear streaks within the medulla the complication of this uh, urate nephropathy are uric acid nephrolithiasis and pyelonephritis this cross section of the digit is showing the deposition of the chalky white or toothpaste like collection tophaceous collection uh, of the urate crystals these pictures are showing uh, the superficial ulceration of the tophaceous uh, depositions from the various area of the body the patient with acute gout or primary gout be present with acute arthritis with uh, exquisitely painful uh, joints of uh, sudden onset and this uh, attack occurs in night after a large meal or intake of the alcohol there is localized hyperemia and warmth on, on the joint but uh, mild fever is occasionally also noted constitutional symptoms are uncommon if this is untreated uh, acute gout or arthritis may last for hours to weeks uh, the most commonly affected joint is first metatarsophalangeal joint in which uh, uh, which is uh, affected in 50% of the cases the other site uh, uh, for the uh, joint involvement are in steps ankle knee heel wrist finger and elbow intercritical period is the period of the complete resolution followed by a symptom free interval it uh, spans about 10 to 12 years and uh, if the gout is untreated there are repeated effects of the gout uh, attacks of the gout and these attacks are more severe than the previous one and they are polyarticular ultimately the disease progresses to chronic tophaceous gout which develop about 10 to 12 years after the initial acute attack there is juxta articular uh, bone erosion due to osteoclastic bone resorption and loss of the joint space so the radiology of the gout uh, here this first metatarsal first metatarsal phalangeal joint is showing that there is decreased joint space by a lytic lesion that this lytic lesion is also termed as red bite lesion and uh, there is a soft tissue uh, edema and there is a tophus in the, which is present in this soft tissue and marked by this single arrow this double arrow is marking the uh, lytic lesion and decrease in joint space 
this is another x-ray of the gout this x-ray is showing uh, uh, of the both feet they are showing that there is a lytic lesion of the uh, uh, of the uh, first better trans of phalangeal joint and uh, this red white lesion or lytic lesion is showing that uh, there is a resorption of the uh, bone and loss of joint spaces juxta articular osteopenia is not a characteristic of this gout which is mostly present in rheumatoid arthritis synovial fluid in the gout may be cloudy or clear and uh, it may contain uh, the crystals of the uh, monosodium urate uh, and the wbc count in of the synovial fluid varies from 2000 to 50000 or it can be more glucose is normal Uh, between the attacks we have free crystals and the to avoid the coexistence uh, or this diagnosis of a, of an infectious arthritis in this synovial fluid should be cultured uh, complications of gout are atherosclerosis hypertension gout in nephropathy and renal stones saturn is the second largest planet of the solar system and uh, it is linked with the misfortune Uh, and uh, in the astrology the hindi name for this saturn is shani uh, in the 18th century in england uh, this term the saturnine gout was described which was originally the lead nephropathy uh, in the affluent people who were having lead plumbing in their houses the same problem was faced with by the roman who used to drink from the vessels containing lead the aim for the treatment of the gout is uh, to decrease the severity of the acute attack to decrease the serum uric acid level to uh, prevent future attacks and to promote dissolution of the deposited uric acid crystals and to alkalinize the urine to prevent further uh, stone formation the non pharmacological uh, modalities which are available are weight loss in obese uh, individuals then changes in the diet such as decreased urine intake decrease alcohol decrease in uh, sugar sweetened beverages and regular exercise the pharmacological pharmacological treatment which is available for uh, this gout are uh, uh, uricosuric drugs then thin oxidase inhibitors uric oxidase non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and colchicine and the uricosuric uh, drugs are uh, they interfere with the renal urate reabsorption and example is promenacid the xanthine oxidase inhibitor is used in people with renal insufficiency and its example is allopurinol the urate oxidase are uricases and non steroidal anti inflammatory drug is useful during the acute attack colchicine is given as a prophylaxis during the interval the calcium pyrophosphate crystal deposition disease is also termed as pseudo gout it is a disease of old age uh, it is common in people more than 50 years of age and uh, there is no gender or ethnic predilection there, there are three types of the disease sporadic or idiopathic hereditary and uh, uh, secondary type the hereditary type is an autosomal dominant disorder which is due to germline gain of function mutation in ank protein and this ank is a membrane pyrophosphate transporter that inhibit mineralization of several tissue such as joint articular cartilage and tendons when this ank is uh, mutated there is in increase in intracellular pyrophosphate and decrease in extracellular pyrophosphate which leads to crystal deposition and early onset osteoarthritis uh, there is another mutation by uh, an, another mutation in this ank protein which is distinct and uh, is it is associated with cranial metaphyseal dysplasia the mutation which is associated with pseudo gout is distinct from this cranial metaphyseal dysplasia genetic mutation the hypophosphatasia is another hereditary condition which is the uh, disorder of the alkaline phosphatase activity hence 
pyrophosphate is not adequately metabolized and accumulate within the cyanobacterium. The secondary type of the pseudogout is uh, commonly seen following knee surgery or following trauma when an articular cartilage is damaged and this damaged articular cartilage releases nucleotide. A released nucleotides are now substrate for the nuclear triphosphate uh, pyrophosphor hydrolase enzyme which is also termed as NTP and uh, due to this enzymic action there is increased production of the pyrophosphate. Another mechanism is a decreased degradation of pyrophosphate which is inhibited, uh, inhibited by iron and copper as iron and copper inhibit pyrophosphatase enzyme so the degradation of the pyrophosphate is less hence these two mechanisms are responsible for the uh, accumulation of calcium pyrophosphate crystals within the bone there is a long list of the uh, uh, second uh, of the accompanying underlying lesions underlying conditions which are associated with the pseudogout The current theory for the pathogenesis of this disease is the degradation of the articular cartilage proteoglycan which normally inhibit mineralization. They allow crystallization around the chondrocyte. Uh, as far as the morphology of the crystals is concerned, these are chalky white friable deposits and they first develop in the articular cartilage menisci and intervertebral disc. They uh, accumulate there and enlarge and they may rupture to seat the joint. On histology, normal H and E stain, these are oval blue purple aggregates and individual crystal is uh, stubby, short, rhomboid or coffin shape and display weak by refringence and polarized light and about 0.5 to 5 micron in uh, size. Uh, inflammation, inflammation in this is milder than gout. The left micrograph is showing the amorphous basophilic or purple colored oval to round aggregates of this uh, material that is the calcium pyrophosphate and uh, then uh, on the right there are rhomboid or coffin shape small birefringent uh, crystals which are seen on a small so this micrograph is showing deeply basophilic amorphous material with the uh, rhomboid shape uh, or coffin shape crystals uh, and these crystals unlike gout are not uh, washed away during tissue processing the pseudo gout may remain asymptomatic or may present as acute subacute or chronic arthritis main differential diagnosis is from osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. joint involvement is uh, for several days to weeks it can be monoarticular and polyarticular the usually affected joints are knee followed by waist elbow shoulder and ankle the treatment is mainly symptomatic and uh, to alleviate the pain and uh, non steroidal inflammatory drugs and steroids are used only When these calcium pyrophosphate crystals are deposited in the joint cartilage, these, this term is known as chondrocalcinosis and uh, joint involvement is in more than 50% of the cases. The therapy is supportive only and no treatment is available for this disease. There is another term that is uh, calcium hydroxyapatite uh, deposition disease. It is an acute or chronic arthritis characterized by the deposition of the hydroxyapatite crystals within the leukocyte and mononuclear cells in the joint tissue and synovial fluid. The deposition is of calcium hydroxyapatite, uh, which is the major mineral of bone and teeth. Uh, it is the same uh, material which is deposited in dystrophic and metastatic calcification. Uh, this uh, Crystals are frequently encountered in synovial fluid of the joint involved by the osteoarthritis. Joints involved are 
knee, shoulder, hip and fingers and a type of this calcium hydroxypatite deposition disease that may last for several days.